You asked for it. That's that's the I guess the creepy part is because she seemed uh, both times Buffalo Wild Wings two weeks before and the week before that she seemed absolutely fine. I always thought because my house is just a mile from the landfill. I mean she goes she used to go to my house all the time so I ever and if it ever crossed her mind that would be a place that you know she could go. Near your but house or up the landfill? The landfill, the main one. Mm -hmm. Right there in Young Pine. Yeah, the Young Pine landfill. Who would you say is, is, is the person closest to Casey? Annie. Do you know if she's opened up to Annie at all or tried to, or has Annie tried to, to get her to talk at all? Because we know that her mom's tried and her dad's tried, but we know that the relationship there was just, it, it wasn't solid between her mom and her. I know that Annie has talked to her and has um, physically seen her. She went to the house. After she was out. After, I think maybe after the second time she was out. Yeah. Maybe. I, she got arrested so many times, I, I just can't remember. I get confused, but I know that she, she has been to the house. She did talk to her, but um, I guess I asked Annie. Annie believes Casey, um, Casey's story, so, but I don't think she opened up to her. Looking back, have you know, look, there were a lot of people in this case who up until the time she was arrested believed a lot of things that she said and never really thought. You know, they, they, they would catch her on like little white lies but never thought it was it was just big, you know, lying about being at work or, or lying about jobs or lying about being pregnant and stuff like that. Looking back, do you recall now any instances where Casey may have, you know, like you mentioned, Sports Authority. You said she works at Sports Authority and that's the reason she didn't go to a concert. Do you remember anything else like that that kind of stands out in the past year and a half that you knew her? Um, like, any, any outright lies that she would have told or that you kind of caught her on? The thing with Casey that, because um, I've met pathological lies before, and the thing with Casey was different, like, she wouldn't tell these great stories of some something amazing that you'd be like, wow, this actually happened. She was never like that. Um, I guess any lie that she would ever tell would be something small, like, oh, I have to work tonight, something like that, oh, I can't go out because I have to, you know, I have to work a double at I have to work at the warehouse, something, something like that. Not like a story of something that happened, like, I don't know, just some she ever tell exuberant you, she, story. Did she ever tell you about getting robbed? No. She ever said she got robbed at the sports authority while dropping off a, a deposit or something? Never. Okay. Never. Um... Chloroform came up in this case, and, uh... Obviously, she was doing research on her computer for chloroform. You know, we've got evidence of that that went to the state. What do you know about chloroform? Your personal knowledge, what do you know about chloroform? I mean, before the military, I mean, in movies, um, I guess I knew it from movies, like any kind of like crime movie, mm -hmm. chloroform was used, you know. I guess first time with Silence of the Lambs, I, I knew what, what it was. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's common knowledge. It seems like, to me, it's almost like common knowledge about chloroform. That's what and people use to, you know, knock people out, sedate them. Do you ever remember having a conversation with Casey about chloroform? No. Did she ever ask you about it, say, hey, what's this, or hey, have you ever made it, or hey, where can I buy it, anything like that? Never. Do you know of anyone in the, in the in circle of friends that she either used to be with or that she was with now that maybe used chloroform or had access to it? No, no, I don't think so. None of my friends, none of my close friends. Okay. I can't speak for her, um, Ricardo's group or Tony's group. Or right, but as far as your group of friends, it's not something that was kind of common. Yeah. It wasn't anything that you guys ever were exposed to. No, absolutely not. Did um, did you ever use her laptop or have occasion to use her laptop? No. What about her uh, home computer? No. I've only been in her house once for the, for the birthday party. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Is there anything about this case that I haven't asked you about, or anything about Casey that I haven't asked you about that you feel is important that you want to share with me? Mm, no. I mean, I guess if I think of something later, I'll contact you, but... Okay. Right now, no. All right. Would you raise your right hand for me? Do you swear and affirm everything you just told me is the truth? I do. Thank you. The Zanny that my daughter described to me is 24 to 25 years old, about five foot seven, 125, 130 pounds. She has straight white teeth, long brown hair, okay? On a scale of one to 10, she's a 10. Her birthday is not September 1st. She's not 25 years old. She's not five foot seven. She's not 140 pounds. She doesn't have black hair. She doesn't have perfect teeth. 
She's not a 10.